Okay, time for another video. This time about the Ring external siren or outdoor siren. Um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll probably have seen that I have a Ring alarm system and I installed it quite a while ago now and I just hadn't got round to installing the Ring siren outside, primarily because it's so high and I really didn't want to spend all that time up on, the, on a ladder trying to secure this to the wall. Um, and also secondly, because by default it runs off batteries and I didn't like the thought of having to go up there regularly, even if it's not that frequently, to change the batteries or to, to put in a new rechargeable battery or whatever. Uh, but uh, this weekend I've hired some uh, a tower scaffolding system, which I'll show you in a second, for another project. And while I'm doing that project, I thought I'd also try and get this done. So it's now motivated me to finally get this up on the wall. So that solves, the tower scaffolding system solves the ladder problem. And then to solve the, um, to solve the changing batteries issue, I have bought the power supply for it, which is just a very simple um, plug-in power supply. It's got a UK plug, so I'm based here in the UK. And on the other end, it's just got two spade terminals that secure into here. Um, when you buy this, it also comes with these cool clips. They're the screw-in type clips. Uh, so I'll probably be using some of those to, to make it all neat and tidy in the loft once, uh, once I've got it all plugged in. But let me quickly show you inside here. So I have undone the screw the, that secures it to the mounting bracket. And if we take this off, you can see that when you mount it to the wall, you mount this bracket, which has got a nice little level in it. And then that secures onto the wall, and then you just slot this on top, which is kind of cool. Um, and if we take a look at this, on the back, there's this waterproof section. Let me just quickly undo these screws. Okay, and then underneath this panel, oh, so it comes pre-installed with these, are they D size batteries or C? I think they're Ds. So large Duracell batteries, um, as well as a compartment here for one of the ring rechargeable batteries, as well as these two terminals here. And these are the terminals that this will plug into. And it has to go through this waterproof grommet here. So it will go in through the grommet into that. And then hopefully I can get this into the loft or into the attic and run it from there. Uh, interestingly, it also has another terminal here, which I believe is for the solar panel. So you can buy the ring solar panel and plug it into here and it will top up the rechargeable battery if you have one installed. So that is the plan for today, is to get this onto the wall. I'm gonna to need to take down the original one. I'll put a little video, a little cutscene here of what it currently looks like. I need to take that down Hopefully there's already a hole behind that original siren that goes into the loft. I think there is because I'm pretty sure that that one was, uh, was mains powered as well. If there is, hopefully I can reuse that hole. I need to put this bracket up, get this from the loft out to the, to the uh, outside of the house, wire this up and get it on. So fingers crossed, not too complicated the job. Right, next time you see me, hopefully I'll be up, up close to the original siren on the scaffolding system and I can show you how it's all done. Here's a quick picture of the scaffolding system in place. Uh, you can see it's, it's a nice stable platform there that we can very easily work at the right height to be able to, to replace this alarm system or the alarm siren. I uh, also want to just point out those outriggers at the bottom. They make the, the platform extremely stable. Uh, but it's also very easy to move around by re just retracting those outriggers and then there are wheels on the bottom so you can push it around to different parts of the house. Yeah, great system. Right, I'm up the ladder. So <laughs> up the scaffolding, sorry, it's a long way down. This is what I'm left with after taking out the taking off the old fire alarm. So we've got a cable, which is definitely dead. I've tested it. Um, obviously a lot of spiders, so I need to clean that up. But hopefully, and this cable does go through into the, there's no resistance here, so it's, it's just a hole into the, into the attic. So I'm gonna try and clean this up and get the new cable through. Right, so I'm still up, up high. 
and I have uh, drilled out this hole with a 12 mil drill bit just so I can try and poke a, a longer, well, try to poke one of these rods. Oops. Hang on, hang on. I'll poke one of these rods through uh, so I can find the cable on the other side. And then while I'm up here, I'm also just going to put the bracket on. So I've used one of my favorite tools actually, which is this, the Marksman uh, Professional Marking Tool, which makes these fantastic little green holes, even if it's uh, it's quite a deep hole. You know, it's, a new cut. it's really difficult to get a pencil through there, but this works really, really well. So just marked up the holes, gonna do some drilling, put this up, then try and find the other side of this hole in the loft and get the cable to it. Okay, so it's up. It's got a nice little level here, which makes it very easy to make sure everything's exactly spot on. Put four screws in, got this hole, and I am pushing through ooh, this rod so that I can try and find it on the other side. And unfortunately, I can feel insulation. So the insulation in the loft must come right up to this hole, which means I'm gonna to have to go into the loft, find the other end of this and clear a bit of space so I can attach the cable to it and pull it back through. So up into the loft. It was impossible to record any video in the loft, but I did manage to clear uh, the insulation away from the hole and find the other end of that rod. Uh, once that was happened, it was pretty easy to then pull the cable back out through that hole. Uh, so the plug end was obviously in the loft or in the attic and, and the cable came out into uh, out to the outside where the, the actual siren will be. Uh, from there, I took out the little grommet from the back of the actual alarm system and fed the cable through it then fed the cable and the grommets back into uh, back into the alarm and wired it up. Um, one thing I didn't know at this point, though, uh, was that those cables, there is a positive and a negative. They're not labelled at all. At least I couldn't see anything that showed that they were labelled. And uh, initially, I got it the wrong way around, uh, which caused a lot of confusion later on. So be careful if you're doing this. Make sure you do get it the right way around. I would very strongly recommend wiring it all up on the ground before you go up a ladder or up a scaffolding. Make sure it all works correctly and you, you know which cable is which before you go up and, uh, and have to try to work this out and troubleshoot it at the top of a ladder. Right, so the last bit is just to set it up in the app. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, it will guide you through it here. I've sped up some of this, this, uh, this video because it did take a little while, but that was all because I really should have done this before mounting it on the wall. Um, I had not appreciated that I'd need to scan codes on the back of the uh, of the device, um, remove the battery um, isolators at the right time, press test buttons, all those sorts of things. So if you're setting one of these up, I would very strongly recommend setting it all up uh, before installing it to make sure it all works correctly and then go up the ladder and uh, and set it up. Uh, on top of that, I also had the issue I mentioned before where I, I put the, the cables in for the, for, the, um, for the power supply the wrong way around. So initially the, the siren didn't recognize the power supply and I had to, to convert it the other way. Um, yeah, but other than that, very easy. Uh, there's also just a quick, quick video here showing the, uh, the first test. Uh, which worked flawlessly as well. It's uh, It was not quite as loud as I was expecting, but I did find later that there is an option to either set it to low, medium, or high within the app, and by default it's set to low. So you can make the siren louder if need be. And that's it, all installed. A uh, quick video of it at night here. Um, one of the very cool things about powering it from something other than just the D batteries is that you can set it to light the ring logo over whenever the sun is down. Uh, so I've done that, I think it looks pretty cool. It's uh, hopefully a good deterrent as well in that it makes it obvious that we have an alarm system. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you have and if you want more content like this and uh, yeah, see you in the next one.